Long Night Moon by Cynthia Ryland and Mark Siegel. Have you ever stopped to consider what might be revealed in one spot over one year by 12 unique and exquisite full moons? Long ago, Native Americans gave names to the full moons they watched throughout the year. Each month had a moon, and each moon had its name. In January, the stormy moon shines in mist, in ice, on a wild wolf's back. Find it, and find your way home. In February, a snowy moon glows white, sharp, in a cool, crackling breath. It will miss its sister, the sun. In March, a sap moon rises over melting ponds. Sleepy bears, small green trees. It tells a promise and a hope. In April, the sprouting grass moon brings all wanderers back home. Baby birds love this moon. It lights their tiny heads. In May, a flower moon blooms wide open, bright, happy to be here. It is a smiling moon. It is a song. In June, the strawberry moon shimmers on succulent buds, on crisp new shoots, on quiet, grateful rabbits. There is, in the dark, a moonlight meal. In July, the thunder moon trembles, shudders, and disappears in a thick black sky. It listens to the clouds beat their drums. In August, a harvest moon grows round and full, like a big ripe melon, blessing the calm fields of hay. In September, a coon moon watches or shining eyes and busy feet, little brown noses in the air. It loves the small night creatures. It shows them a better path. In October, the acorn moon comes, strong yellow. The biggest moon of the year. Leaves are falling and birds are flying. This moon says goodbye. In November, a frost moon holds on a hard ground, empty trees, the wind in lonely places. It shivers with the shining stars. It thinks it might just sleep. And in December, the long night moon waits and waits and waits for morning. This is the Faithful Moon. This one is your friend. The end.